Welcome to the Tripo AI Guide. In this issue, we will introduce remapping and let AI dance. We will help you master remapping through a dance case study. As we mentioned earlier, the action library provided by Mixamo. Another option is Mutaion, which can directly generate brand new actions in the DC channel. For example, I want to generate a spinning kick action. First, go to the upper right corner of the official website to join the DC server, and then go to the creation channel. Enter slash, then select slash motion, there are three values that need to be entered. The first one is your prompt word prompt, for example, leap, 360 degree flip, roundhouse kick. The second one is the built-in character image in Mutaion, and I usually choose bots. The third one is in place, with two values of true slash false, which will affect the position of the character. When true, the animation will be fixed in one position. And false allows the character to move according to the original animation. After the generation is completed, check if you like action 1 or 2. If you like 1, click M1, FBX, if you like 2, click M2, FBX. If you just want to dance by yourself, so you can also download Move AI from the iPhone App Store. Move 1 refers to a version that can complete motion capture with just a single phone. Multicam requires multiple workstations. If you want to obtain FBX files by uploading videos, it can also be extracted through Plask AI or Rococo. After downloading your own FBX file, click on File-Import-FBX in the upper left corner of Blender. Find the corresponding file, but don't rush to click Import. You also need to expand the Skeleton tab in the right panel. Check the Automatic Bone Coordinate System and click on Import to import it. Then follow the steps shown in the following figure step by step to operate. Step 1. Based on the frame sequence below, it can be inferred that the end point is approximately at 10.30. Adjust the values, otherwise the dance will end halfway through. Step 2. After importing FBX, the default selection will be source armature. That is, the model with a yellow border in the following figure. Dot pipette. In addition, check in front, in the object data properties, on the right panel. Step 3. Select the control ring above the Picacha model with the mouse and click on the straw. Step 4. Click on auto scale to automatically match the size of the FBX doll model with Picacha. Some friends click on auto scale. Pop-up Python error window is likely due to incorrect selection of your source. The source armature actually requires clicking on these connectors step 5, click on build bones list. Select hips from the list, then check set as root. Step 6, scroll down, find redefine rest pose, and select rest pose. Click OK and hold down shift to select the part with a different pose from your model. Then click on copy selected bones. After a few seconds, the posture of the FBX doll will match your model dash apply. If your model and FBX are both very standardized, with a starting position of T-Pose, then select Current Pose and Apply to proceed. Step 7. Slide up, find the Retarget button, and click on it. Wait for a moment before the action is automatically bound. You can play by pressing the space to see the effect. At this point, you can also select the model in FBX and press the shortcut key X to delete it. If we need to scale Pikachu in the future, select Pikachu and the control ring on the head at the same time, then press S to move the mouse to zoom in and out. A reference demonstration for learning Cabby Beast Dance based on the HDR scene built earlier. Now let's take a look at how to bind multiple FBXs to a model. We need to use Nonlinear Animation NLA, function here. First, go to the upper left corner of the lower panel, click on Editor Type, and select Nonlinear Animation. Find your model keyframe track and click the Push Block Down button. Continue importing new FBX files now. Switch to Source Armature and use the Straw tool to suck on the newly imported FBX. Flip directly to the bottom Redefine Rest Pose. Click the Retarget button above again to complete the remap. Returning to the Nonlinear Animation panel just now, find the new keyframe trajectory for the model. Then click on the Push Down Block button again. By default, the stacking method of two videos is to replace the lower animation with the upper animation. Bring the two actions closer, but keep a certain distance. Select two videos, hold down Shift plus T to add transition animation. It's done now. 